What is up everybody, Joe here. In this video, I'll be showing you my exact YouTube strategy that started getting me thousands of views on my third video. So if you don't know me, Joe, I run a 40K month SMA and I spent 10 minutes every week uploading YouTube videos and somehow they, they took off. So I'm gonna be completely transparent. I have 742 subscribers right now and I've got 30,000 views in four months of uploading. And honestly, this is completely rookie numbers. I'm very aware of that, but I have learned things from doing four months of content. I've been very transparent about everything I do on this channel with SMA for the last few months, just giving away as much as I can. So I'm gonna give you everything I learned about YouTube. So 750 subs for someone who's never uploaded a piece of content in his life is not too bad. So I'm gonna start giving you my lessons and I hope you enjoy. So my number one frame for YouTube, just going into this thing, and I got this quote from Hermosi, is make your free shit better than everybody's paid shit. So if I'm gonna give you one YouTube hack you can call it to succeed on YouTube. It's release more valuable things than the average person on YouTube and watch how your content does. And you get kind of the mindset of people that hold back the value on the YouTube channel and they go, oh yeah, if you want to pay for more stuff, you can pay for it here. But they give really like no value on the YouTube channel. I think this is utter BS if I'm gonna be honest. So I want to give as much value as I can on my YouTube, like give pretty much everything away. And the saying I also like by Hermosi is you want to give away the secrets and sell the implementation, right? You want to give everything away for free. If they want to work closer to you, they can then upgrade to their, your paid thing. So that's the frame I took, right? And it's very rare. Like I'm, I'm just going to show you my metrics here, right? Like my third video started getting a thousand views, which is very odd on YouTube. Like I was not expecting, I was expecting to do YouTube for years before getting this amount of views. But my mentality was like, Let's give away my whole agency. <laughs> and you might think that might start creating competition. It might start getting people that are just going to take your information and run away and implement their agency and steal your whole agency. But most people don't even honestly implement many of the things they do. And I also held back some information confidential that they can't really steal my agency, right? But honestly, that was my number one frame. So let's get into some more advanced YouTube tra tactics that I've, I've really aimed for. So there's two metrics that we really, really want to dial in when it comes to YouTube. There's some other small metrics that also matter, again, like comments or engagement, watch time, all that good stuff. But these are the two that I put all my attention on. So there's click through rate. So this is the percent chance that you see your video on the home feed or wherever on YouTube and they click it. And this is honestly fully the thumbnail and the title. Like if you think about a good YouTube video, it makes most people to go, you need a good thumbnail and title to pop off. There's a few other factors, but yes, this is my best performing video in terms of click-through rate. So this got a 6.5 click-through rate, right? So what you'll notice is when you upload videos that the first few days your subscribers see it, and it's a very, very high click-through rate, and eventually drops off a little because it starts going to a wider audience with YouTube's uh, algorithm, just sending it to more people. So eventually it'll go between four to six to seven percent ish, right? For me, I aim to have above 5%. Everything is around 5% for me, but this was the one that got 6.5% click-through rate. And this is two weeks ago, 1.3K views. So we want a good front end thing. We want a good thumbnail. It's something that is a pattern disrupt. That's my frame with thumbnails. Is we want a pattern disrupt. They're scrolling our feed all day. We want something that's gonna disrupt them and actually hit them a click on the video. And then again, the title is very important because you want something engaging and you want to deliver the promise that's in the title in the video. The next strategy I also use on YouTube is just you want to keep them retained, right? So I have a few strategies for the start off, starting off, this is my best retention video, transparently. This has six plus minutes of average watch time for an average viewer that's not too bad whatsoever. It's nearly half of the video, just about half. And this whole video, interestingly enough, was just a full story. It was just my, my SMA journey, like scaling my SMA. Just fully a story. So if I'm gonna give you a tip in terms of content, you're going to tell stories to prove points. So I also, after this video, noticed that retention and I'm starting to tell more stories on my videos. Because you notice that when you start a story, you want to keep listening to the end of the story. And hopefully at the end of the story, you drill down the point to the point where they actually know what you're talking about and they get the point of the story correlated to the topic that you're covering, right? It's a quick watch time tip, but this is my intro tip. This is the, the exact intro I use for every single video. And I don't know if you've heard this, but the first 30 seconds of every video is most important for, in terms of retention. And I've just heard this from the biggest influencers. You hear Mr. Beast from Ozzy, all these guys talking about it. It's because we want to keep them retained as long as possible and we want to deliver on the promise in the intro. So I use this framework. Promise, proof, and then path. 
Very simple, three Ps. Promise is, by the end of the video, you're going to receive this thing. You'll know this thing. You'll get this thing. You'll get this out of the video, right? If you notice at the, at the beginning of this, I told you about scaling YouTube channel. I told you exactly what I did. By then, the video will give valuable lessons regarding YouTube, how I did this, right? So it's, we're gonna give them promise. Proof is, if you don't know me, I've done this thing that's credible for me to get to talk about this thing. Because the people that get exposed as liars on the internet and content are people that give advice without proving it. Why would you listen to someone about business if they're making 2K a month? Like, you're not gonna listen to them. You'd rather listen to Alex Rosie who has a $100 million net worth, or someone who's making 100K a month, 500K a month. This is why we listen to them, because they're able to tell what to do, because they've done it, right? We listen to people, we listen to trainers because they're big and jacked most of the time. Like, they have a good physique, we're like, oh, we wanna listen to you. Same with business. You shouldn't talk about something you have not done. That's just a general rule, right? And also, just, just one more thing on this point, is I like using the frame, here's what I did. Because they can't criticize that. They can tell you ways to make it better, potentially. But if you're advising people to do this thing, do this, then do this, then do this, or you go, hey, here's my sales process. Here's my appointment booking system. Just, just take it. Like, you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> but as soon as you're telling people things, they should do this, ABC. You're, you're instructing. And we're just like documenting. I'm just telling you like transparently, this is what I've done with my agency. That's, that's the frame I try to take with every single video. Third is the path, right? So in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do this with this step-by-step -step process, right? It doesn't have to be a step-by-step -step process. It doesn't have to be that. Some videos I go, today I'll be reviewing this doc. It shows you exactly how to do this. See, you can see this here, you can see this here. It's 11 pages in this video. Like you, you're just giving them a path. I'll be walking you through this document in this video. Something that's at least intriguing to them. Right? These are the first 30 seconds, and it's very valuable, you wanna keep them on. So I do this every single video, last 10 videos I've been into this, um, and it's helped my retention a lot, like a lot. So I, I advise you, if you, wanna, if you wanna try this, try it, see how it goes. And also something I want to point out with YouTube is that the longer the video, the more they're nurtured. So think about it this way, if you're, if you're an estimate in your business, you know what nurturing is, but if you don't, I'll explain it. Along the buying process, the lead needs to get nurtured. Right, so as an example, if you opt into an ad, then you get a VSL that you like to VSL a lot, right? You're you're really interested in this thing. And you get on a sales call, and the sales call pushes you over the edge, that's a nurturing process. It's a process in the sales process, right? So longer the video, the more the lead is nurtured. I've told this story before, I'll quickly repeat it one more time so I can prove the point. I bought a 10K course, it was around 10, 10 11K, that was a lot when I was starting an estimate. And that's a lot of money to invest in the thing. And I was watching this guy's YouTube videos over and over and over. And one day I stumbled on this three hour lecture by this guy on YouTube. And that video changed my paradigm in every single way, every single way, right? And what that video did is it nurtured me to be sold on the thing before I booked a sales call. It booked me, it sold me on the program with one video because it was three hours. Like I was like listening on the treadmill all day. I was going home listening back. Like I was just obsessed because I was like, this guy is like mind blown. So I was like, you're in half about something like that. But that proves my point where we want longer videos to nurture people, right? Usually for me, this is my experience, that the shorter the video, the longer I keep them retained, the algorithm pushes it more. That's just what I've found on average. Again, there's an exception. I just did like 40 minute video. It did pretty, pretty good last few videos. But shorter the video is like an eyeball. It's like a traction mechanism. The longer the video, it might not get as many eyeballs, but it'll be a nurturing process, right? So ideally, I like switching up the lengths of my videos. I'll do a few videos that are short, a few videos that are long, because the guys who watch the short video, they get attracted to it, and then they can go to my long stuff and be nurtured. If they want to work with me fully, they can do whatever they want after, right? I'm not, this video is not sale pitch. But attract with the short videos, nurture with the long. Get them sold on the long videos for whatever you want to buy. If you're gonna upload content for entertainment, this doesn't matter to you, pretty much. Like, doesn't matter to you. If you're trying to sell someone on a program or sell on a service, like an agency, if you're an agency owner, this is probably targeted to you. The longer the video, the more nurturing it is because you're building trust. Like, this video might be building trust with you, I don't know. If you go to my longer stuff, you like might like me more, <laughs> whatever. That would prove my point, but longer is just building familiarity and they like you more and they get more value, especially if you're over delivering value the whole video. So that's pretty much all for this video. I cannot stress though, when you're posting content, document what you did and teach. Like just say, I did this, right? We don't want to tell people what to do without doing the thing first. It's just lying, it's deceiving. So if you do something cool, document it. Or the other frame, if you haven't done something cool, you just report 
Today I did 300 cold calls. This is what I did. I got three appointments for my 300 cold calls. Here's how the call. Here's how the sales call went. Just report. If I was gonna do an, a YouTube channel when I first started my agency, I was at zero k month. I would upload a few times a week. Take five minutes of my week to do it, and then as well, just like say what you did. Just literally document step-by-step -step process. I optimized my outreach system today. I set up my ads. I'm working with this client. It's going this well. And if you learn something from it, perfect. Like just, just show what you're doing because you, you're you probably not an authority at that point. You probably don't really know much what you're talking about because you're brand new. You're basically just learning as you go and you're documenting that. And people do like that. I see videos like that with thousands of views all the time. So that's not a bad thing. It's just a different style. So you have to approach it in a different way. So if you enjoyed, I upload a lot of videos like this as well. Just subscribe and like, that would be amazing. Give me a lot and have a good day. See you later.